アンシーン64プレゼント Project Nano, also known as Blueprints, is a cancelled open world cooperative shooter that was being developed by Epic Games. The project was going to become their new major series following the popular Gears of War games and was scheduled to be released on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Epic put a lot of time and money into planning a Blueprint trilogy, a noir adventure in the grim, desperate world of 2043. But unfortunately, the series was abandoned after a few prototype demos. While Nano was never officially announced by Epic, they did show some parts of the game in their Samaritan Unreal Engine tech demo revealed at the 2011 Game Developers Conference. Looking at Samaritan, we can have a better idea of the style and graphic quality they were targeting for Nano. All gameplay levels in the Nano prototype are just gray boxes. There are a few art levels, such as the Samaritan demo area, for example, with a more finalized graphic style, but they just didn't go that far in at that point to apply more details to any of the levels. The Blueprint trilogy would have revolved around a tyrant government, with the main protagonist belonging to the Resistance trying to defeat them. Look, his immune system is a ticking time bomb. They hit him with this. A new type of delivery system. Nanotoxicity at critical levels. Immune system damage terminal. O2 levels falling. Foster is too important to the resistance. We'll do what it takes to save him. Triple A security. Confirmed. Direct path. Analysis. Resolves to less than a 6.2% chance of success. Alternatives. Find an indirect path. <sighs> hmm. Fellow executives, success. <laughs> our mandate has been to secure our tomorrow today. And so I'm proud to present to you the first of our game changing urban pacification technology the UP1 Bull Rap. Somebody. You. Huh? I only need what you know. <laughs> no! Brainstorm retrieved.
In this near future dystopian New York, a pair of nanotech enhanced dissidents would search for answers and revenge as they unravel the mystery of their missing family members, only to spark a revolution against a totalitarian regime. The two main playable characters were Lyric and Owen. Thanks to nanotech, they would improve their strength, stamina, and receive amazing abilities such as phasing through gates, fences, and doors. Early in the game, both protagonists would acquire some kind of 3D printer which lets them use nanotechnology construction to recreate 3D objects when needed. Nano was meant to be an open world action game with nanotech powers, somehow similar to titles like Infamous, Crackdown, Prototype, and a bit of Assassin's Creed. The missions would progress like a sci-fi GTA, the difference is that you would have been able to hide in the crowds like Assassin's Creed. Combat in Nano was a mix between first person and third person shooting, plus some beat em up elements with energy swords. It was also a pretty interesting way to get around the city by hacking flying cars, using energy beams to climb walls and buildings, jumping around on poles, and riding energy cables. Just like the Gears of War series, Nano was meant to be fully playable in co-op with a possible multiplayer deathmatch mode to boot. Epic Games' expectations for their Blueprint trilogy were very high, targeting 5 plus million sales worldwide for the first chapter, with an expected release in 2015. While there were not any official reasons why the Blueprint project was never completed, it's possible that Cliff Blazinski's departure from Epic in October 2012 could have put the last nail in the coffin for the game. Former Epic Games president Mike Capps also retired from the company in December 2012, just a few months after a Chinese company acquired most of their share capital. We can speculate that this sudden change of management and leaving staffers could have been fatal for an ambitious and risky project such as the Blueprint Trilogy, in which Epic already invested a lot of time and resources. After selling the Gears of War IP to Microsoft in 2014, Epic is currently working on three projects, a new free-to-play Unreal Tournament, a MOBA titled Paragon, and Robo Recall for the Oculus Rift. You can read more about the Blueprint Trilogy and other cancelled games on the Unseen64 website. Check out the video description for more details. Unseen64 is an independent collective of gamers from all around the world, and in our archive we remember cancelled, beta, and unseen video games. Please consider to support Unseen64 on Patreon to help us keep the site online, and to remember even more games that could be forgotten. Thanks for your support. I've been Sam Bam, and I will see you guys later.